open to the journal section of your workbook and write the topic of today's lesson. See something, say something on September 14th. In the section marked past, think back to our last two lessons. List a way you've gotten involved already this year or describe how you've shown support for a new student or teacher. Next tonight to a case making national headlines, authorities say three women coming to the rescue after allegedly seeing a man drop something into his date's drink at a suburban restaurant. That suspect is in court today and tonight police are now searching for more possible victims. Here's ABC's Lauren Lister. Tonight, a California man in court facing assault charges after allegedly slipping a drug into his date's drink. The suspected plot foiled by fellow diners who took matters into their own hands. I noticed a gentleman at the table next to me acting pretty suspicious. What did you think he was doing? I thought he was trying to lace her drink. One friend rushing to the bathroom to tell the woman. I know this is really weird, um, but we saw the guy you're with put something in your drink. Another flagging restaurant staff who called police after security footage allegedly confirmed their suspicions. Police arresting 24-year-old Michael Shu in the restaurant, confiscating the woman's drink as evidence. Those friends sharing their story on Facebook to warn other women. I'm completely filled with gratitude that we were able to see it, mm -hmm. to tell someone about it, and to help another woman out. Shu pleaded not guilty to the charges. If convicted, he faces up to six years in prison. The police are now asking the public's help in finding any other witness or more possible victims. I just want to let people know, if you say something, something really good might happen. It might really help someone who needs it. In the space marked present, think about the three women dining in the restaurant. Had they not said something, what could have been the possible negative outcomes? Make a list of them. I just wanted to take this time to talk with you about the see something, say something um, from the counseling perspective. We see students um, on a couple of issues. One is um, for seeing students that are concerned about other students with hurting themselves, um, with cutting, or um, with thinking about suicide. And we really want to stress the importance of if you have that concern for another student to come talk with us and to let us know to say something to a trusted adult um, or one of your counselors. Uh, the other piece that I just wanted to mention to you is a concern about teen dating um, and teen dating violence. So if you see something um, where you feel like a student um, is not being safe in a relationship, it's important to say something to a trusted adult or one of your counselors so that we can help you with that. And on that line, same thing with, with bullying. If you see things or you see people who aren't being treated the way maybe they should, please come and find that trusted adult. Find, find, find somebody who you can communicate with, and that's why we're here. So we're here to problem solve for you. We're here to help make sure that you're successful. We're here to help make sure that you get the proper education. So if you do see something that you feel is not appropriate, then, then definitely come see us, and we'll help problem solve the best we can. And just a last piece, because this is always a concern for our students, is to remember when you report things in the counseling department, it is confidential. So we don't have to um, mention that you reported that information to us, um, to that other student or that person that you're concerned about. So please keep that in mind. 
And my favorite line is when I'm speaking to the student is just somebody cares about you, somebody is deeply concerned about you, and and that's usually why people come to the office because they do care and they and they do want to see you, um, you know, just be happy and flourish, and that's I think our ultimate goal here. Hi, I would like to talk to you today about seeing and hearing and saying something. In today's society, in the world we live in, is not very safe anymore due to ISIS, and it is very important to keep our eyes open and watch what goes around us. And it, in school, it's also very important to do the same to keep yourself and others safe. If you see someone picking on someone, doing drugs, handing out drugs, or even someone you don't recognize, please say something to someone. If you do hear anything on campus, you see anything, don't hesitate to come to your uh, administration or teachers or security. Um, that's what we're here for, to keep the school safe. Hello Cactus Shadows, Dean of Students here, Mr. P. I uh, really like the topic this week, See Something, Say Something. Uh, it's a topic that I think is really important, especially for our kids on campus, because what I love about being at Cactus Shadows High School is that 99% of the kids that we have at this school are phenomenal kids. They're here for the right reasons, with good intentions. However, just like on any other campus, unfortunately there are kids that maybe are not here for the right reasons and they don't necessarily have good intentions. But one thing that really troubles me is that there's such a tendency to protect that 1% as opposed to looking out for the greater good, that 99%. So I think leadership is very important and I know that we have a lot of very strong leaders on campus. Part of being a leader is looking out for that 99% and not protecting that 1%. So if you see something, say something, because that could have an impact on another student's life. Thank you so much. Take care. If you see something, please say something. You can tell a teacher, administrator, counselor, security guard, or office staff member. Your peers are counting on you to look out for them. In the space marked future, Think about saying something if you see something. What might be an obstacle that could stop you from telling an adult? What could you do to overcome that obstacle? Mm -hmm.